Hi, this is Hans. Hope all is well. John Graff just sent me over some footage of something that I've always suspected but never had proof. John Graff is a huge anti-chemtrail activist, and he captured on March 2nd, 2017, a couple of chemtrail-producing crafts. At closer inspection, it turns out that what was generating the white billowing smoke was a couple of flying saucer-looking orbs. I ended up stabilizing, slowing down, and blowing up these objects and discovered that these vehicles were mimicking our planes in releasing these chemtrails. So I was able to get John Graff on the phone to tell us a little bit more about what we were seeing. Hey, John, thanks for uh, for sending me the video. Thanks for talking with me today. So I just wanted to ask uh, ask you a few questions on this incredible capture. Uh, it's just an amazing capture. It looks like it looks like a couple of orbs making chemtrails. So could you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, um, I've been following the chemtrail operations for about 10 years. And I watch them all the time, and, I, and they're, just, they're just so mysterious. And they become more mysterious because in the beginning, when I saw the spraying, it was planes. It looked like planes. It looked like people doing weather modification or cloud seeding. You know, it looked like that. But now there's a whole new element to it that's uh, over us. There's, there's planes that are up there shooting at high speeds, and they are just different. This is not, this is not jet. And if you look at the video that I shot, when you catch the 22 second mark, look how, look at the speed they're going. I was like, it was like trying to catch a horse race in the front row. I was, I was following it as fast as I possibly could. And I did not know at the time I was shooting that, that they were not playing, you know, at all. I, I just thought, you know, they were. Looking at the video myself, I saw that they were these dark looking orbs going at very high speeds and, and leaving a massive trail across the sky. I mean, two in a row. I mean, anybody who thinks that is airport traffic is 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 so it's wrong. It's really wrong. amazing. I I I've seen these planes, you know, shooting across the sky, uh, and most of the time they're like horizontally. Number one, but number two, they never go in tandem like this. Um, there's people in other states that have caught like five in a row doing the same thing, mm -hmm. but they did look like planes. I mean. They are shaped like planes. I got a feeling what we're seeing are shaped like planes a lot of the time. But every time I go out and shoot these chemtrails, I always think in the back of my mind, show me what you really look like. Just show me. I don't say it, but I think it. And that that particular time, uh, they actually showed me what they look like. And that's why I think that's what they all are. These, there's, there's, there's planes below. There's passenger jets that are spraying. I know that. They're hooked up. And I think it's to throw us off to what's kind of really going on up there. And the ones that are out of sight, they're so high up there that you can't make out what it really is a lot of the time. And I think those are uh, not good at all. Because this, today was a war zone. And this is March 3rd. Today looked like uh, Pearl Harbor right over our heads. Every minute of the day they were right. there. And people called me off the hook. All the people that know called me and go, John, are you looking at this? And I said, I sure am. This is insanity. So there's something more going on than we think. And it's not just weather control and all this stuff. They're trying to paint this picture of that or that they're contrails. That's the biggest lie of all because they're absolutely not. They're not melting away and like contrails would. They're just, they're leaving this stuff in the sky. And you can watch them every day put a ceiling on our sky, a toxic ceiling. And this is what's going on. I, mean, I don't want to go too deep into it or anything. I know this is a UFO thing and it's cool. But I want to, I would just, I always wanted to prove the fact that what I'm seeing, even when they're jets, are going way too fast. They're going way too fast to be jets. I can barely catch them. And so I think there's something more to this whole thing, you know, and I, I try to prove that. And I want people to know that there's something going on over their heads because most people are not paying attention to any of this stuff. Now, what made you like grab your cam when you saw this, which I, to me, it's highly unusual, especially with it, with it, with the two planes or, or whatever it is, uh, heading straight up, but also, you know, going in tandem. What possessed you to grab your camera and to videotape? Are you, are you videotaping these things all day? I do, I do a lot. I mean, all the time I do, and I'm hoping to catch something unusual. But this time when I saw two coming at me right next to each other, like you see there on this video, I knew something was wrong, and I knew I had to catch this. You know, I still thought there were planes the whole time. But when they went right over my head, as you can see in the video, you can see that these are 
These are spheres. They're not, they're not planes. There's no wings on these things at all. Just spray it. And that, to me, kind of proves the fact that uh, all these people are talking about, oh, these planes just go up and fill up their tanks and they do all this stuff. There's nobody filling up a tank here. These guys have technology. They can spray all day long. I'm telling you, they it they look like orbs to me. They Just are amazing. Orbs. I'm telling you, man. I looked at that and I was like, oh God, I knew it. But I, in my heart, I knew it anyway. Just the speed of these planes that are going across when we're out there shooting UFOs and stuff, and I you see me filming these guys. And I'm going, this is important, man, because these guys are here and they're not doing us any good. This is nothing. What they're doing is for our benefit at all. This is crop dusting in its finest, and today was very horrible. I don't know. I just want the truth to come out, man. I really do. Well, it's cloud seeding. This is not it. Right. It's every country in the world. This is our globe. Is right now is a big cocoon of chemicals, and people don't know that. Right. So right. They need to look at it. They need to go out and look in the morning when they see these guys. They're up there doing it right in front of you. Well, thanks for um, thanks for you know open, helping us open up our eyes to this whole thing. But um, I'm trying, man. I just want the truth to come out. I'm tired of being lied to. I want to have a good life, and and I can't going down the street and doing going through normal life is so hard when you see this war zone above your head. That's the hardest thing, man. The stress levels of all that stuff. You know, I just want the truth to come out. Whatever's happening, tell us. Because they don't. We we're never told anything. Thanks for uh, thanks for the footage and thanks thank you for uh, talking with us and um, you know hopefully uh, the video will prove positive that um, that you know what you're showing is the truth so thanks a lot John yeah you're welcome man you're welcome believe me I'm doing this every day and that's that's a strange hobby to have so I gotta I gotta have the truth and I want people to know what's going on so they'll pay attention excellent thanks John. Okay. So there you have it, chemtrail producing flying saucer orbs. Now you know. John has been doing this for a very long time. All I know is that people who are part of our group at LA UFO Channel see and capture some crazy things. So please join us for UFO field research. Keep your eyes to the sky and I'll see you next time. <laughs>